No, 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 you listen here, Todd. Read my damn lips. I did not authorize those damn app game charges. You need to give me back my fucking Google account. I don't care if you say they were fraudulent charges. You assbags better give me back my account. Or so help me, Kami, I'll send my cell juniors over to Google headquarters and have them bitch slap you, the entire staff, Larry and his fucking boyfriend, Sergey, or whatever the fuck, if you don't have my goddamn Google account restored today! Goku, you're still in bed. It's been three weeks. Ugh, go away. I don't want to be bothered. Ah, uh, Goku, get up! You can't just stay in bed and sleep your life away. There's a whole world out there, man! With beautiful ladies just waiting for their Muffin King to sweep them off their feet and give them that good say in lovin'! <sighs> just leave me alone. I don't want to get up, okay? Just let me stay here and wallow in my own self-pity. Ah, uh, look, Goku. I know your body hasn't completely, uh, recovered from what Ray did to you. But you gotta stop with the depression crap, dude. It's not good for you, and better yet, it's not good for me, man! Sorry I'm bringing down your mood. I just... I don't know what else to do with myself. Phil, the dumbasses from Google are calling and they... Oh, is he still in bed? Yep. Damn it, Kakarot! Will you get up already? You can't let this woman reduce you to this! Where's your say in pride? I don't have any say in pride, Vegeta. What exactly did she do to you? <laughs> oh! Uh, well, regardless, you need to walk it off! Even though that might not be possible at the moment. Come on! Let's go train and get your mind off of this whole mess! No thanks. I don't feel like training right now. What?! Uh, Vegeta, I don't think the pep talk is working. <laughs> He's delusional. He's fucking delusional! Okay, Vegeta, just calm down. Let me handle this, okay? You gotta do something because this is not natural. What kind of Saiyan doesn't want to train? That's not normal! Hold your horses and relax. I got this. Goku, listen to me. You just need to get back into the game. Look, why don't I set you up with some dates over the next few days? At least that would take your mind off of Ray, okay? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to go out right now. Goku, would you listen to yourself? You're the goddamn Muffin King! You've crammed so many bitches, Vegeta's wife is jealous! Yeah. What?! You need to get back out there and remind the world why you are called the King! Because I like muffins? And I make all the ladies moist? Damn straight! See? Now you just need to get some tail. No pun intended. What about Chi Chi? What about her? She doesn't matter. She's not even in the skit. Well, am I right? <sighs> as much as I hate to admit this, but Cell is right. Oh, I'm sorry, Monsieur. What was that? I couldn't hear you. I said, you're right. Say it again, you seem to be mumbling. I said, you're right! Oh my fucking god, there must be a damn mouse in here, because all I'm hearing is little squeaks. I said you're right, you egotistical jackass! Well, Vegeta, I am made of your cells. Fuck off, Bugman! Anyways, Goku, get up and prepare yourself. I'm gonna set you up with some of the finest ladies in town. Did somebody say, fine ladies? Rosé, what the hell are you doing here? Well, I came here to make a cameo appearance, but then I heard you mention fine ladies, and I thought to myself, the muffin boy over here could use a helping hand. So I was thinking of lending my services, you know, because I'm so divine and godly and whatnot. Also, I happen to be quite the ladies' man myself, and you mortals will need all the help you can get. God damn it. Look, Rose, we appreciate the help, but we don't need you right now. I beg your pardon? Oh, come on now, Cell. Surely you can use my- Look! We don't want your fucking help right now! We don't need your services! How dare you talk that way to a god! I'll have you know my divine services are quite useful. 
Yeah, what are your services anyways? A two-step program on how to become a slut! I am not a slut! Oh, you're right! I'm sorry. You're also a gay Jedi, too. I am not a gay Jedi! Rosé, you're a man inside the body of another man, you have pink hair and a goddamn pink light sword, and you're always trying to convince people that your way is always correct. You're a gay fucking Jedi! Accept it! That's not true! That's impossible! No! Yeesh. <laughs> what a drama queen, am I right? The truth often hurts. But anyways, I'm... not too sure about this, so... Goku, it'll be fine. Where's your confidence, man? No, you're right, you're right. I guess I'm just... a little nervous. I've never been on a date before. Well, that makes sense, since you've lived in a damn forest. Yeah, so I'm not sure how this will go. Goku, just be yourself and you'll be fine. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You were designed to be perfect. True, but I also have your cells. Meaning? Meaning you're part of what makes me perfect. So take those qualities and get yourself a damn girlfriend. Yeah, Goku, you gotta get out there and show him who's boss. Where the fuck did you come from? Downstairs. Vegeta sent me up here to say, Go fuck yourself. Now why would I do that, when I have his wife to do that for me? I heard that asshole! Shadow, I know this is a lot to ask, but could you please go try to cure the prince's damaged ego? What do I look like to you, a miracle worker? Nobody's that good. Okay, now that we're done with all the INTERRUPTIONS! What do you say, Goku? Okay... <sighs> okay, I can do this. Are you sure about this? Goku, trust me, it's the perfect idea. I promise. What could possibly go wrong? Um... Hey there. You must be Goku, I assume. Wow. Hey, would you stop staring so much? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just, um... It's just... what? You look really pretty. Uh, I do? Yeah. Thanks. No one's ever complimented me before. So... I guess we should head inside now. Yeah, I'd like that. Shall we? We shall. And so I tried to tell him to get down, but he just keeps going on and on, yelling at me, calling me all sorts of obscenities. Wow. Yep, and you'd think he'd be dead, but you'd be wrong. The guy was so stubborn. So he was lying there, Asking for my help. Like a bitch? Oh, totally like a bitch. So what did you do? I gave him some of my energy. Why'd you do that? You know, I don't know what my thought process was at the time. To be honest with you, I guess I felt he could change. Like Piccolo and Vegeta. And maybe I could fight him sometime down the road again. So what happened after you gave him your energy? Well, to no one's surprise, he tried to attack me again, so I gave him more energy, of course. <laughs> I assume he perished after that? Nope. I told you, the guy is too stubborn for his own good. He survived and tried to destroy my world, but let's just say he was cut down to size. Really? <laughs> you know, I'm actually enjoying this date. <laughs> Me too. Your life seems so dangerous, and yet you have this upbeat attitude about it. Mostly like having fun. How do you do it? I hit my head on a rock a long time ago. <coughs> Goku. <laughs> well, I guess I just learned not to let things get to me. I try to find the bright side of things whenever I can. 
Hmm. I wish I had your optimism. Foolish as you may be, you seem to enjoy yourself. I try to. So, uh... <laughs> do you normally date girls with daddy issues? Because if not, I don't think I am the right girl for you. I don't think so. The other dates have been pretty good. But I'm really enjoying myself on this date. I don't know. Something about you that makes me feel comfortable and free. What? R really? Yeah. Well, what about you? How do you feel about this date? This has been amusing and fun. And we do seem to have some things in common. I'm glad. Honestly, I thought you would have left. After I told you how I came to Earth. Trust me, you aren't the only one with family problems. Duly noted. So, what do you want to do now? Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could spend some more time together after the date. You do? Yeah. It's nice to know somebody who has odd powers and has family issues like me. Well, I don't mind, but... Oh, crap. What? I have to use the bathroom. Sorry. A bad muffin. I'll be right back. Uh... Raven! Raven! Oh no. Is that you? What are you doing? Starfire, what are you doing here? I'm on a date right now. You're on a date? Most wonderful joy friend! I too have gone on the date. Oh, Raven, it was most glorious! And here she goes. <sighs> Look, Star. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, but I'm on a date right now. So... Can this wait till I get home? And he was most wonderful as well. He is an alien like me, and we discuss life on Earth. He was apparently sent to Earth by his race, so he's lived among them, but still has trouble with their customs. He's an outsider like me, Raven, and oh, I can't wait to see him again. Well, well, well. Look. What do we have here? It's my dear sister and her dull and agonizing companion. I'm amazed both of you are here. Shouldn't you both be off saving the world or helping an old woman go across the road? Oh look, the bitch in dark is here. As much as I couldn't imagine anything better than to spread you over this restaurant, now isn't the right time to go on a date. So leave, now. A date? Our little raven has a date. Oh, how charming. In spite of the fact how anyone who can manage a little Miss Haziness here has my deepest sympathies. <laughs> Listen, bitch, if you're looking for a fight... On the contrary, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to see my attractive Saiyan date again. He's strong, dangerous, and an alien like myself. Though, a bit on the dim-witted side like my sister here. Sister, what are you doing here? Are you here to fight us? It's news, that's for sure. For anyone to be interested in a deceitful witch like you. How dare you! Wanna say that to my face, bitch? Thought you'd never ask. Phew. Sorry I took so long. That darn muffin went right through me. <laughs> Goku! Starfire? Blackfire? What are you two doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? And how do you know my sister? Your sister? I... wait... Oh! Starfire, Blackfire... Right, duh! I really should have picked up on that. Goku, I'm gonna assume these two were the... other dates you were talking about? Yeah, that's them. And Star. This is the guy you mentioned? Absolutely. I didn't know you were also going on the date with him. Blackfire, what are you doing here? I couldn't wait to see you again after our first date. I love that you taught me so many things, like how to sense key energy. That's how I was able to find you in the first place. Though, I didn't think you'd be on a date with her. Oh boy. Raven, I'm sorry. This whole thing is a mess. It's fine. It's not like you knew this would happen. So, what should we do about this whole situation? Oh, I have a great idea! Raven, sister, could you both come here for a second? 
Actually, that sounds like fun. I'm in. You can't be serious, Star. Come on, Raven, please. Ugh, you're lucky you're so cute. <laughs> so, Goku. We have decided together that all of us, including you, will be spending the entire evening together. Any objections? Well, no, it's fine, but I... It's decided then, ladies. Let's go, Goku. Wait, what? Ah! Yes, well, I'm glad that you were able to see things my way, Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure my cell junior showed you the light. <laughs> my account is back to normal, all right. I'll let you know if I need anything else. All right, take care, Todd, and give my regards to Larry and Sergey. Thank you. So, Goku, how did that last date go? Oh. Atta boy.